Middleburg, New York. Catherine, it's my understanding you were there. What do you know about this situation that, that has some people seeming to believe that there may have been a real problem with this dam? Yeah, hi there, Shepard. I'm actually here. I'm with a family. We are all on a road here which is which is flooded on the north end and the south end. So we are stuck, but Middleburg uh, has been evacuated where I am. Uh, we heard the Gilboa Dam sirens going off just about an hour ago. And obviously people have been trained, you know, they hear that sound and, and, and it's scary for them. Um, however, we are under... Um, the, you know, we're, we understand that the dam has not been compromised at this point. That was a precautionary measure uh, because they lost contact with the folks over at the dam who are monitoring uh, the situation over there. I mean, obviously, we have just been pummeled here. The rain has been on and on for hours. Um, and like I said, I'm here with uh, some families, residents here on a road in Middleburg. We are stuck. Uh, we're stuck. There's a two-mile stretch of road, uh, north end and south end, both washed out. So we're stuck here uh, trying to find higher ground at this point. Wow. So the thinking is that it wasn't that there was a compromise in the dam, not that the dam was breached or broken anyway, but that a lot of water went over the spillway. And just because of the very volume of water in the hills in that area, the roads are washing out, and it's just a mess. It is a complete mess over here, and that's exactly, you know, it was a precautionary measure. However, you know, they are concerned with this amount of water that something could happen with this dam. If that were to happen where I am right now, uh, the dam is about 15 miles south of us, and that water would come rushing north. It would be right where we are. Um, so obviously people here are very scared.